In this one about the World Wildlife Fund, three of the answers are far too wordy. Answer choice A has a phenomenon most scientists agree to be caused by human beings in burning. So all of this, agree to be in burning, these are very awkward phrases. Notice, incidentally, we have a to be, which is almost always a sign of an extra wordy phrase in the GMAT. So we'll reject A. B and C are relatively concise. We'll go back to those. D has which most scientists agree on as a phenomena caused by human beings who burn fossil fuels. Oh my God, that's incredibly wordy. But the grand prize for ridiculous wordiness is answer choice E. Which most scientists agree to be a phenomena caused by fossil fuels burned by human beings Oh my God, that's a train wreck. Notice that's the only one that's three lines long. That's just ridiculously wordy. So now we're left with B and C. And a principal difference I'll point out is the placement of the phrase most scientists agree and the pronoun that. The pronoun that modifies phenomena. And so it should be next to phenomena, a phenomena that. Whereas when B, we have a phenomena most scientists agree that. They're separated. And so that's a problem in B. And so really C is the best answer choice. So C is sleek. It is efficient. It has no grammatical errors. It is direct, sleek, powerful. It is by far the best answer choice.